Hi Pinewood Scientists, I'm here today to show you how to build a simple paper airplane. Before we start, there's some things you have to understand about the forces. So when you have a paper airplane, there are four forces at work. Um, lift, thrust, drag, and gravity. Now if you look at this paper airplane and the way the arrows are pointing, I'm guessing all of you know what the force at D is called. Exactly, gravity. So gravity is pulling the airplane down towards the Earth's surface. Now there's another force that's pulling up, or pushing up, and that force is what makes an airplane fly. So when the airplane goes through the air, and it goes through the air molecules, the air moves underneath and pushes up against the wings, and that's called lift. So when your airplane is flying, lift is the stronger force, and that's what keeps it aloft or up in the air. Now there's two more forces. One is called drag and one is called thrust. Thrust is the force that makes it go forward at A. And what thrust is, in a paper airplane, it's you pushing. So when you push the airplane and let go, that's thrust. Um, in a real airplane, that would be caused by the engine. The thrust would be caused by the engine. But there's another force. When this comes through the air, the air molecules hit the front and that slows it down. And that's what's called drag. If thrust is greater than drag, then the airplane increases speed. If drag is stronger than thrust, then the airplane would slow down. If gravity is stronger, then the airplane will crash to the ground. So you have to just throw it just right and see how far you can get it moving. Now you probably want to know how to make this airplane. This is called a simple airplane design. These are the instructions. I'm going to show you how to make it, but if you want to go back after I make it and just pause it on these instructions, then you can make one yourself. All you need is a piece of paper and you can attach two paper clips to it if you have paper clips at your house. So step one, fold a piece of paper in, in half lengthwise, just like this. Then you're going to open it back up again. Number two says fold both top corners into the center crease. So you're going to make two triangles up at the top. You're going to fold it to the center crease like this, and your paper airplane will look like this. Then you're going to fold the paper in half with the flaps on the outside. So you're going to fold it in half the other way, and these flaps will be on the outside now. Then you have to fold your wings. So you're going to fold this down. That's one wing. So it'll look like this. And you're going to turn it over and fold the other wing down so that it looks like this. See how it's looking like a paper airplane? Then you fold the wings out and you can add three small or two large paper clips to what's called the nose. And then the final step is you can add what's called an elevator. If you fold the back of the wing up a little bit, that helps with lift. And you have yourself a paper airplane. Now, once you build your paper airplane, you're going to go into your Google Classroom and you're going to click on the flight log. For the flight log, what I have you doing today is after you build the airplane, you're going to test it out. So you're going to give it thrust three times, three trials. So you're going to push the airplane, let it go, and you're going to time how long it stays aloft. Aloft means in the air. So you're going to time it from the time it leaves your hand until it hits the ground in seconds, and you're going to record that on your flight log. Um, you can also add some other observations. There's a column for that. You're going to do it three times and see how far you can get it to go. And then there are a couple questions at the end that I want you to answer. After you do that, you'll submit it to Google Classroom, and I'll read all the cool things you did in science today at home. Um, just so you know, if you're interested, the world record for a paper airplane is 27.6 seconds. That's really, really far. Mine goes for about two or three seconds at most. All right, have fun building your paper airplane.